Lunch break. of Lunch Break. I am your host Christian Knight bringing you another threading episode on this Christmas day. Um, and of course, you're probably not hearing any quietness because uh, there's a lot of people going on in the back. What up, what up, twang? So yes, I'm going to set you guys down here. Um, and we're going to get set up to get ready to do this show today. And of course, there's the wife. There's Twang, by the way, he's up there. Hey. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> but what's yes, up, what's up? thank you everybody for coming here once again and allowing me to be in your living rooms or in your phone or wherever you're at at the moment. Um, bringing you episode 109, season 5, episode 5 for you two guys today. Yeah, guys. Look, 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 you got antlers. You see this? Like, no, not your moves. You see what's going on? <laughs> But yes, thank you everybody for coming on here and uh, basically allowing us to, to be part of your family tonight, you know, or today, I should say, for Christmas. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays, yeah. Merry Christmas, happy yeah. holidays. So. I'm going to try to make this as not so quick, but well, kind of. Th yeah, because today's episode, we're kind of doing like a very quick one, um, by chance anyway. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Um, because we're going to be bringing a lot of uh, shout outs and cheers and, you know, birthday shout outs as and well. And special guests. And special guests, of course, because you're going to have people crashing yeah. uh, lunch break today. So, you birds, know, a big bird. when they come in, they come in, you're going to see them. Yep. Um, that, I'm not stopping nobody. <laughs> They're going to be doing this. This is, this is live. So. They're going to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and like that. <laughs> and then they go like this. <laughs> oh, man. Got to have fun, guys. Got to have fun. Got to have fun. Normally, around this time, I probably wouldn't even be here. Uh, I'd probably be on my way from home from work while Chris is setting up, but, um, yeah, my day off. Thank God Chris is still on a Friday this year. Chris. Uh -uh. You hear them whispering? You hear them whispering? They don't want to make too much noise. Occupy the time. What are you guys doing? Have you guys opened up your gifts yet? Like, we opened up some of them with my, you know, my daughter, obviously, for the first time, woke up early. Um, and we opened the first half, so we're going to be opening up the second half soon, and then we're going to be having dinner. What are you guys having for dinner? Like, what are you cooking for dinner for Christmas? What is the thing that you normally cook for dinner? Like, usually we cook turkey, but, oh no, ham, but my daughter's birthday is in two days, so my mom's like, no, we're not cooking, um... Her, uh, ham until her birthday. Let's get to cooking. I can't wait to see what's up. Aw, Sinister said, I can't wait to see what's, um, what you guys are going to be bringing for dinner tonight. Yeah, it's going to be something a little simple because obviously, you know, with all the craziness going on, um, it's funny, like, Christmas is like a wedding. Like, legitimately, it is like a wedding. You prepare throughout the whole entire year to get to this one day, and that one day's gone in 10 minutes. Craziness, right? Oh, sorry about that. I had to get the return for us to see everybody's messaging us. What up, Sinister? How you doing? Damn, he's been at work since oh, 5 30. Damn. Yep. damn. Shout out to all of those who are at work right now. Like, sorry that you gotta be at work. Today's episode, we are making crab cakes. It is a really, really easy recipe to make. All you really need is crab meat. Imitation crab, crab or crab meat, whatever it is. Um, and just mix it together and put it in a nice. Um, what do you call that thing? Mold? Ah, mold. There. Oh, not mold, mold, but mold. Ew. A mold. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> no. Disgusting. Hey, Heidi, what up? Um, so, yeah, so basically. Oh, we're gonna cut it up? Uh, you, are you gonna oh. wanna cut it? You don't yeah, wanna slice it? Give me the. Uh, there's no bigger one than this? Uh, there is, but this one's like really big. It doesn't matter. Oh, no, I think all oh, the white ones come in here, probably. Yeah. Here, let me get the white one. Here, take that one. Well, hey, 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 oh, All right, so Relax. here we go. So we're gonna take the crab, as you hear, see here, right? So, mind you, get a pen and pencil for right now, so this way you can write down the recipe. Like I said, it's the most easiest one in the world to make and do. Uh, oh, babe, oh my gosh! Sinister, wait a minute, wait. Sinister said, 
<laughs> We're having crashes right at the moment. <laughs> We're trying to see if we're gonna crash the show right now. <laughs> oh, how can um, Heidi? How does it look on um, Instagram? Got a little elf back to side oh, 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 to the house. Oh, oh, hey, there you go. There you go. Look, look. Emily, say hi, everybody. Welcome say to hello. Show Emily, everybody. Look, say hello. Go. Say hello. Say hi, sinister. Little shy. Say hi, sinister. Good, say hello, they're saying hello to you. Look, she and got of course, makeup uh, on too, she got her makeup and, and on. And of course, Bandit's also Bandit's here. in here. I'm so jealous of her makeup, like she looks better than I do and I'm in my own home. Isn't that crazy? Like she normally watches from the other side, which is weird. Now she's on the other side, she sees what's going on, so it's kind of weird, right? See, say hi to everybody. Say hi. All right, so she's having a moment. Oh, look, someone said hi, look. Thunder. Uh, uh, that's Heidi. Heidi, so Heidi says hi, Emily. So. Emily says hi back. Oh, says hi. oh look, hey. even you got people saying hello to you on Twitch right now. You're famous now. Oh snap! Oh, She's waiting for the food, so she wants to get the gifts open. So we're gonna go let her sit down for a bit, and then we'll let her go over the gifts in a little you while. You guys said I want, so I am coming over for yeah. dinner. But, but, but you over already here. Who's that? Is that George? No, that's Yvette. She's like, but you're already here. Oh my god. It's gonna be a crazy moment. Look, look, and now there's Yvette. Oh, there you go. There you go. See you There's the crashes. <laughs> She's normally watching on the other side. Now we got Bandit running through. We got a full house of people here, guys, by the way. So this Jesus. is just like the family edition of uh, Lunch Break, by the way. <laughs> what up, James? What up, Keisha? Merry Christmas. Oh, my goodness. Beth and Mia. All the excitement is coming out of here. I'm telling you, like, they're all here. They've been, all this excitement. I'm telling you, like, they're all here. They've been, it's funny, too, because they all watch the show from the other side. Normally, they don't see what goes on in the background. They know what the apartment looks like, but now that they see what's going on in the background while it's live happening, it's weird. Like, my brother-in-law's hiding in the corner right there, no, looking he, at us, smiling. He, he's hiding, but they can see his hat. They can see his hat. They can see his hat, by the way. They can see you. So, let's get started. All right, so, um, the first thing you're going to need is, of course, crab. So, before we get into the cooking, crab cakes, which I didn't even... Did you? I don't know. I'm about to tell you something interesting, which I didn't. I'm no, what the hell? No, it's just got Oh, because that one was, was used. That one was used. All right, so... Crab cakes have a long history, which originated in Maryland. So that's the um, basically the drunk history or knowledge base that I'm drunk dropping history. there right now. Um, and our my access. dad. Look, oh, there, there you go. They're gonna have <laughs> There's people jumping right in all over. <laughs> Hello. See? Everyone's gonna start walking in. It's crazy. This is crazy. My, this is like not even a third of my family. Today is lunch break crash. Yeah, crash lunch break day. That was my dad, by the way. You didn't catch him like too much above you, but that was him being a fool. Um, so... Uh, basically, uh, our access to fresh. Oh my God, there's Tracy now. That's Tracy. She Hi. never watches on the other side. Back again. Hello. Back again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The sushi is ready for very I'm already like, prepared, I'm so yeah, let's go, let's do this. Um, so, our access to fresh and delicious blue <gasps> crabs uh, make Marilyn uh, crab case the epi epitome? epitome epitome of patty shaped seafood dishes. A crab cake is a variety of fish cake that is popular in the United States. It is composed of crab meat and various other ingredients such as breadcrumbs, mayonnaise, mustard, eggs and seasoning. All types of stuff in one pot. Literally. This shouldn't be a soup? No, not really. No, no. No, no. My, <laughs> my brother-in-law just said, do we the put mashed potatoes? potatoes? No, we don't put mashed potatoes in it. But you know what? You, could, you never know. Somebody probably does. Probably does. We don't. Yeah, why not does? Maryland, <laughs> baby. Uh, listen, Maryland has the yes, best definitely. type of crab that you definitely, can possibly definitely. think Send of. This way. Please do. We'll definitely um, take it. So the cake is then sauteed, baked, grilled, deep fried, or even broiled. Mm -hmm. Crab cakes are traditionally associated with the area surrounding the Jesus... I can't Chesapeake. Remember. There you go. Ches Chesapeake. Chess, Chesa Chesapeake Peak Bay. Bay, in particular the states of Maryland and Virginia. So shout out to Maryland. Which, out by there. the way, if you've ever driven over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, dude, I hate that bridge. I hate that and the Outer Bridge Crossing. Those, bit, those, <laughs> my hairs are standing up. Anybody who drives over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, I freaking hate it. All right, so it's the worst. This is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna take these suckers out. Yep. And as you see, they always come out in a nice little square, most of the time. Mm, not really. Most of the time. Not this time. Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, first of all, by the way, we have to keep this away from Mr. Wonderful over there because he's... I can touch you, but I can't. Yeah. Oh. 
That's wow. what she said. Wow. Wow. I think it's supposed to be the other way around. So he's allergic to shellfish. And, or you're allergic to all types of fish. Or uh, shellfish. No, I think it's shellfish. All types what of is? Fish. Oh, wow. Even right touch you, all types of fish, like even whiting and stuff like that, you can't eat that. Really? Ooh. Oh, wow. Um, the longest, longest bridge, bridge tunnel, tunnel in the U.S. Wow. Good, listen. Damn, that Simpson. Chesapeake Bay Bridge, man. Oh, it, uh, Especially on a windy day. Oh, my so, brother in law said, especially on a windy day. I'm t I don't like that bridge. So, I'm, right all I'm gonna do with this is just gonna cut it slightly. I'm not gonna try to cut it as much as I need to do this. Right. Once we mix it, we make it into a nice little bolé. You don't want to make it into mush. That's the problem. Yeah. If you cut it small, it would make it too mushy. So, you don't so all do I'm that. doing is just going straight across into little bits and pieces. Little bit. Just so they can be small enough to compile together. Because this actually starts to come apart on its own. Mm -hmm. It's flaky. Yeah. Yeah, you can. You definitely can. My brother looks like you can break it with your hands. Alright, so now we're going to just add this to a mixing bowl. And that right there is, I think, two two eight ounce packages or two yeah, so it's, it's yeah. one pound altogether. So, okay, so it's two so, eight ounces. Right, two eight ounces. So now we got the crab. Right. So okay. normally, like you guys, like we tell you guys all the time, you can actually cut the recipe in half. Obviously, you would just just literally cut it in half instead of using yep. a pound. You would use eight ounces. What you doing, Tom? Um. Yeah, yeah, take it right. Thank you. All right. So now, so that's the first one. The next thing you need to add into this, uh, what happened to the spatula that was there? Which is this one? No, the purple spatula, the purple one that was here. Well, there wasn't, I didn't see it there. Maybe it went up back up there. Uh, I don't the know. other one that's in there? That's fine. No, no, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's no. a spoon. Oh, that's fine. Alright, so, um, the next thing you need to add to this is um, mayonnaise. So you're going to need... Mayonnaise. <laughs> half a cup of mayonnaise into this to add. I'm turning the temperature oh. on this. Alright, so now, we have the crab meat. We got the mayonnaise. There we go. Alright. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so, we got that. Uh oh. The flaky like Christian. <laughs> he is flaky, by the way. He is very flaky. He can be flaky. He's not always flaky, but he can be flaky. Alright, so. We added the mayonnaise, now we're gonna add in, oh, uh, you can pass this to me if you want. Oh, uh, we're gonna add in the one egg. One eggy. One, egg. one liquid chicken. Wait, no, okay, no, no, what you, what you call it? Butt nuggets. Butt nuggets. <laughs> yeah, the butt right, so nugget. Here's the butt nugget. <laughs> one butt nugget. <laughs> Alright, right? My mom thinks that's funny, right, mom? So. You think when I call it butt nuggets? Uh -huh. See? Baking them or saute? We are baking it, sinister. Yeah. Yes, we are baking it because we're going to be using the mold to put them in and then 20 minutes later on 400 degrees, we got some yep. crab things. Alright, so next one, and by the way, Sinister is the one that is the chef. You so, how do you saute crab cakes? Can you tell me how you do that? Please let me know how you do that because I've only baked them. So the next thing, while you answer that question, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, so, I don't we're going to be yeah. adding that's why we fry them. one tablespoon of chives. Which is basically dried it. Yeah. Really? Sinister. Orange chives, dried green onions, because I'm pretty sure it is. Mm, I don't know. My favorite. The next one, no, not yet. Oh. Um, the next one is one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Which Worcestershire. Is Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Winchester. Carry on my wayward son. Um. Now comes the one te uh, teaspoon. I was gonna say tablespoon. One teaspoon of spicy mustard. Oh shoot! Um, she said now I'm gonna have to make crab cakes oh. now. Yeah. Yeah, Heidi. Oh damn, Heidi's in both places. That's what I'm talking about. They just gave Emily a shout out. They said, "Hey, Emily." Uh oh. So. Yeah. Uh, one. What was it? One teaspoon of spicy mustard. Why is it so oh, spicy? She just came back. Look, look, look. She there came she back. is. There, there she's back again. Why is it so spicy? <laughs> why is it so spicy? Yeah, why are they using spicy mustard for this? I think what... Yeah, give it a little oomph. And I think with spicy brown mustard specifically, it has a different taste. It has more of a vinegar yes. taste to it. Yes. Oh, it look, like Sinister just said yes. Right? Sinister said yes. Chives are green onions. Yay, I got something right. So wait, when I would add green onions and chives... You're in, doing it double. Pencil. You're just adding 
adding more onions. That's all it is. Yeah, it's either fresh or or dried. That's all it is. Uh, my brother-in-law actually wow. said that how um, the spicy brown mustard is, um, it's got more vinegar in it than regular mustard. Oh. That's why I like it, because it adds like a little the bit yellow, of... The yellow mustard, it just... Blah. Yeah, oh. the spicy brown so, one is much better. Here's right? the next weird one. Uh, the next one is yeah. one and a half teaspoon of tahin. Tahin. Ah, I said it right this time. A staple in every Mexican home. <laughs> it literally is. Every Mexican home has that. Like legit. They do. All right. So now we got that. The next ingredient you're going to add is one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. juice. So. Yep. Most of the time when you make uh, seafood platters, you usually have some type of citrus in it. Yeah, I don't, it just I don't, goes I don't together. Like it. I don't like it. I'm the only I must be the only one in the world that doesn't do that. What, lemon juice? Yeah, no, I, I think don't. it's great. Um Sinister said they have green onions which are chives, chives. Red, red onions, onions yellow, yellow onions, onions which, which are, are sweet, sweet and, and white. white. Yes. So you know which one I like and I'm pretty sure you've had them before. The little tiny little ball onions, they're white. Oh, you the bold ones, right? Bold Balls. ones. Those are Balls. really good. You actually can cook those whole in a pot and make like a um a cheese sauce with it, which is really good. I've had it before. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. So, they're like this big and legit, legit, they're that big and they come in a bag like that. So So the last portion of this that you need to put into the mix ingredient wise is just panko, uh, plain panko breadcrumbs. Which by which the is way, if you want to substitute panko breadcrumbs, you can use what? Bread? Nope. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pork rice. Hey Nikki, what up, cousin? What? Yeah. Yeah, pork rice. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's how you do yep. the truffle stuff. You can yeah. do pork and seafood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I have, I don't know if you guys have had it before, which by the way. Oh, there you go. They're called pearl onions. Pearl onions. onions. There you go. So, Sister said that. really quick, if you guys do not know, this is not an endorsement towards his company at all. However, <laughs> Rob Deerdeck, which by the way, my brother in law, I tell him every time I see him, he looks like Rob Deerdeck, um, has a company called Pig Out, I believe, where he Merry endorses Christmas, Pig Out. Though. Merry Christmas. Um, they're porkless pork rinds. So they're protein-based pork rinds if you want to use something different than panko because if you're on a low-carb diet, you want to try to take out the, um, the carbs as much as possible. Which, by the way, if you're not careful, crab meat has a lot of cholesterol in it, if I'm not mistaken. So you have to be careful if you have high cholesterol. Same thing with shrimp. They're bottom feeders. So once you added in all those ingredients together, bottom feeders, yeah. all you got to do is Merry mix Christmas. it very, 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 very well. The lobsters? Anything, yeah, lobsters, crabs, shrimp, um, krills, exactly. That's exactly why. It's not kosher at all. No, seriously, they don't eat. They don't eat anything with uh, crabs or for lobster. They don't. No, nope. certain cultures don't eat certain things because it's like with, with Jew, uh, Jewish people. Oh they don't. Eat, they don't eat crab at all. No. Yeah, they don't normally do. Why are you hiding in the corner? Sorry. They don't normally they eat see crabs. Them, yeah. So they don't normally eat crabs because um, they call them, which is funny too, because people call um, shrimp the roaches of the sea. You didn't know oh, that. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, call yeah, them the roaches yeah, yeah. of the sea because they're that. basically crawling on the floor. Yeah, yeah that's true. Oh, but they're, so they're so good. They are. Um, I I don't know. He said so. There's this debate, right? Which do you prefer, lobster or crab? Crab. Really? Lobster. I prefer lobster. Crab. I prefer lobster. Crab. How about shrimp or crab? Uh, oh. crab. Crab. What? Yeah. I'll do shrimp. No. No. Really? Yeah. Bland. Yeah. Never is. Yeah. And that's what, what I mean. What you guys okay. Say? Here, let me ask you let, this. Let's just kill the pole. Let you me ask me. you this: <laughs> mussels or clams? Clams. 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 Uh, I would do clams. Ah, see? How do you say crab? See? Okay, so here's another one. Mussels or oysters? Oh. Mussels. Uh, I pass on both. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, pa I pass on both. Oysters. I pass on both. I know. Listen, I don't know anybody, uh, see, anybody can shrimp, vouch see? for it here, but oysters on the half shell is something that not a lot of people like to eat because it's raw oysters with lemon juice oh, in it. Oh, clams. It's so good. But you got a quiet taste. Yeah, no, and, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
nothing. You have the quiet taste. Oh, boy, it's too weak. Lemon juice. It's so good. It's like it's like down. Down. That's it. It's, it's the it's best. Like I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. it but no, George is right, though. It is an acquired taste. <laughs> it has like a peachy type of taste. It's, 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 it's a no. very, it has salty. a very sea salt oh, yeah. taste. Heidi said mussels if I have to eat one. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, some people, and here's the thing that people don't understand. You have to be careful when you cook mussels, because if mussels, when you cook them, if they don't open, you then they're not, you can't Oh, uh, yeah, well, you were saying that about before. Thing with a, with with a clam. clam. Right. They have to open up their shell. If their shell doesn't open up, open no, they tell you. Yeah, okay. No, because what happens is you're just yeah. supposed to toss it, because that means yeah. it's it's rancid. It's not, it's not cooked. But the best right. way to eat a mussel? Soup with the I love it. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. You gotta have a right person to cook that though. You really yeah. do. Not a lot of people like cooking those at all. I like it. Me personally, I like it, but not everybody does. I do. Lobster. Just I don't know about that. Lobster. The same. See, lobster. A lot of people don't like lobster because it's just they, they just don't like the, the the texture of the lobster. They prefer yeah. crab because it's more flaky. So it really depends on true. what you and what you cook too. Yeah, right. True, true, so true. I actually have you ever had um lobster on a grill, like grilled yes. lobster? Well, it's have. really good. <laughs> it's it, it creates a different taste. It does. Lobster. It definitely yeah. does. It gives that smoky flavor. Yes. I personally I like it. Um but I like it when you do it in like a seafood broil where you add everything together and then you um cook yes. it like that. Like a that seafood thing. platter kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. Which it's which your security, yeah. yeah, which years ago um, when I don't know if they have it anymore. I have not seen it as of recent. But in um, oh god, what's the name of the place? The the restaurant, um, uh, Red Lobster. They used to have a thing called Fisherman's Wharf or yes. Captain's Wharf. It's platter. Fisherman's yeah. Platter. I don't think they have that anymore. Normally, when I would go to um, there used to be a Red Lobster. As a matter of fact, Metropolitan. Right, and I think there's one actually up the block from no, here. What you probably used to be up here. Which, if you've never eaten at them before, they're really good, but they are a little bit pricey. Alright, so, pricey. once you mix all this together, yeah, they are pricey, though. this is what you are left with. Or so should like be seen. It's like a paste, right? Well, it's a loose, it's a loose mixture. See? It is a loose mixture, though. If you was frying it, then that's what his friend was saying. You can actually saute it. Right. I've never had salt so, crab cakes. We're going to use this as our mold for baking, by the way. And we're going to use the like ice cream scooper. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, yeah, like make it like a meatball type of thing. I know. To make it like fry, fritter. To fry it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's somebody on, the, on, the, on his feet who says that they actually saute um, it. So I don't really know that way. I know that. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Alright, so here we go. So I'm going to use the ice cream scoop ball. Mm -hmm. Right? Please saute it. And that's what his friend was saying. Yeah, that's why, you know, the, um, Tracy was saying that um, she was asking about the fact that, you know, you're baking it. I said, yeah. I said, but his friend, um, so I think Sinister. I, need, I think I need a smaller one. This is too big. Okay, so this is a smaller one. So Sinister said that he sautes it. That's a lot of crap. It is a lot of crap. <laughs> a little spot. A little bitty spot. That's all right. We'll get the smaller That's going to be the taste tester. Oh, there you go. That's the taste tester one. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's going to be my taste tester. One. So this should yield about, I think, um, maybe 24 when you make it. About a pound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're they're mini, so. Yeah, see. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm just using my spoon here. Get it? I was trying to be I was trying to be no, fancy exactly. with it. I was trying to be fancy with it. That's my problem, Lord George. By the way. <laughs> oh, see, come on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so really quick, I want to let you guys know what he's doing. Add some bread coming in and stretch it out. Tracy made the best butter cookies ever, and I get them every year around this time, and it is no exception that I'm eating one right now. <laughs> one? That's not your first one. <laughs> That's the first one that you've seen. I'm just saying. Brought to But she bring me mm, a whole tin. And these are not going to survive the night. They're really not. They're not going to survive the night at all. Tracy knows I love her butter cookies. Do you 
give me like this in the bed. Oh, oh for real, I'm seriously gonna have the most. She's gonna, she's gonna have a food coma. I'm definitely gonna be in a food coma. Wait a minute, the other day, I made two dozen of those butter cookies. In our house, within 24 hours, they were gone. They were gone. They're so you know good. Why? Because I need them joints. Oh my god, they're so good. Like I, I mean, they remind me of my grandmother when I was oh. a little girl. So no, imagine if I was smoking. Oh, forget about it. It'd be That's worse. it. You can sauté them on a flat top or pan with butter oil blend on medium heat, so you get that crunch on the outside and cooked all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. So he's from Maryland. So I'm, I listen. Anybody who's from Maryland, I really trust them when it comes to cooking crabs because that is your thing. Like I would never imagine anybody telling somebody from New York how to make how oh, this pastel. Pastel. Listen. So a lot of the stuff that we make here, I tell people all the time that if you have a texture issue, yeah. you would have to like tweak it a little bit. Like there's certain things that I just don't like that the tech. Yeah, I, I don't, it just drives me nuts. Like certain things, certain textures I don't like. So you always modify it. But with this one, it's a little bit different. It's a basic. Like the, 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 the muscles. Right, mm. right. So slow, not everybody likes that honest, slightiness. Like we yeah. go down to Gettysburg, because Gettysburg is literally like 20 miles from the Maryland border. Right? And when we get the crab cakes down there, and they're sauteed, they're so good. They're not like it, it's not like eating something deep fried. Right. They're it's a different. They you don't, don't get that oily taste to it. And they're light, and you don't. So sinister. Let me ask you a question. So Tracy said yeah. that she's been to Gettysburg, correct? Yeah. She goes to Gettysburg, Always. and Always. she also stops by um, Maryland, and she has the um, crab cakes from there. Yeah. So have you ever been to Gettysburg? Is my question for you, sinister. I'm pretty sure you have because you travel a lot. Um, but um, right. I think I've been to Maryland probably twice. Have you ever been to Maryland? You probably haven't. No, it has to stop, no. Yeah, I've been to Maryland probably twice. I drive by, yeah. And I do have to say, like, they are, they're like, they're really good when it comes to seafood. That's just All right, okay. so. Yeah, that's just me. Once but, you have it in your mold, or you could do it however you want. You could put it on a, a baking sheet and make the molds by themselves. Um, or you'd be fancy and extra like this fool right here and put it in my, my cupcake mold. Yes. Um, and then all you have to do is put it in the oven mm -hmm. under 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Yeah. So you can either cook 20 these minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. That will be done in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, and because it's a temperature, Tony? 400. 400. 400. Yeah. yeah. So in the meantime that we're doing that yeah. and waiting for that, that's what I would have done, but he decided to But no, to it's not, no, and no, there's no decision on this. It's the recipe. I am going according to what right, the recipe says. Right, but there are other says. ways, no, there are yeah, other so ways Yeah, so the recipe it. calls for whatever I'm doing today right now. So don't try to tweak it. I'm not trying to tweak nothing. Be easy, Papa. I mean, okay? Right. Yeah. Right. Now, now it's starting to get hot here because this oven's on. Oh my God, I just realized that. Oh, Lord. Oh. We got other food in the oven, by the way, but... Can you put my Texas toast in the oven, please? Okay. <laughs> My mom refuses to get up and come over here to show her face. Everybody else did. She's the only one that hasn't come over here yet. Which, by the way, there's other food being made and, and cooked in this place. There's here a, she a, comes. There's a big ziti being made over here. Look. And some Texas toast. So, really quick. So, there oh, hey. is my mom. You can't Hi. see her face. There she is. There's my mom. Here I am. Yeah. Over here. That, 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 that Hi. Okay. You. There's my mom. Hi. There's Emily again. Yeah. And then, which, which is gonna bump you guys out yep. but oh, check yeah. this out there are three generations in this house actually four any? generations in this house right now no four you have my mom right, you right. have my nana uh-huh my, my and nana sitting down you have my mom you have me and then my daughter yeah you have That's four cool. generations standing in this house right now which is very rare and then you got m's. and then you got m's oh. and then you got oh hello yeah. tila oh, tila yeah mm -hmm. uh, Ari. yep so we literally, at any given time, she'll be on her way. Oh, at any given sorry. time, we have four generations standing in the house. It, well, God bless their souls, by the way, before they passed away. When my great-grandmother was alive, there was five generations in a house, which was really rare because I, when I used to tell people all the time, my great-grandmother, they're like, wait a minute, your great-grandmother's still alive? I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That was my grandmother's, that's um, my grandmother's mom, yeah. So just in case, you don't really have to make crab cakes out of this because... 
This is basically, you can just eat this like this. I'm gonna show them how little my right, Nana that. is. They don't believe me how little Nana is. My Nana's like this big, like legit. I'm gonna bring her with me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, in the meantime, um, if you guys are just tuning in to the live, uh, we are making crab cakes, uh, which basically we use mayonnaise, egg, chives. Worcestershire sauce, spicy mustard, tahini, fresh lemon juice, crab meat, okay. and panko bread. So for those so. of you who do not believe, I have a mini Nana. Look, there's yeah. my mini Nana. Look how little she is. See how little she is? Look, remember how I tell you like she's really little? Look, she's super little. Look, I can look. <laughs> See? And I'm 5'4", so if I can lean on her like this, that means she's really little. Oh, that's my nana. Hi, say it. Say, that's my nana. Yep. So Hello. That's how they look. See, that's my niece, and that's my nana. So, Merry Christmas. There you go. See, now you believe me. My nana is a little person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad. What up, man? How you been? How you How you feeling today? Yes, we need your help. Come, come, come. Who's that? Dad. Uh, Dad where? Awesome. Where? Oh my where? God. Guys, my father-in-law's watching from his hospital room. Let's no, let's take a moment right now to give him a shout out all the shout way to Mount Sinai. Love you, Dad. Son papi. Son papi. Oh, so just to say it's wall in there today, bro. It is. I told you it's gonna be a live Christmas family type of thing going on, guys. So Oh, so that means your wife works, Dad. Good. Oh, that's Black. great. No, I'm like I'm really glad that he actually got that, which by the way, we were kind of concerned with that because he was um in the hospital, but he got his phone and he's watching it, and that's so cool. That's awesome. By the way, if you guys don't know, um, Chris's dad has been in the hospital for a few months now, and um, he's come a really long way. So we are so excited that eventually, soon, hopefully, if all goes well, which we're praying that it does. Yep. Hopefully in the new year, 2021, Chris's dad will actually be here being a sous chef with him for one episode. We don't know that yet. So my dad... No, we'll have some Spanish food. Right, so my dad will probably be a sous chef. That's it, thank you. You're welcome. So my dad actually wanted to be here when we were doing a live, and he's here, so maybe one day he'll be a sous chef, or my mom will. We'll kind of switch it up in 2021, because 2021 is going to be the year that we do things with a whole nother spin on it. I kill you! So... With that, without further ado, let's go into the segment where we give birthday shout shouts out. to people. Because there's birthdays. a lot. There's a lot. There's a, there lot, of yeah, there's Look, a lot of birthdays. Yeah, there's a lot of birthdays. All of y'all people's parents got busy at the, around the same time. I'm just saying. Yeah, everybody what's, was what's born in December. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> Lord have mercy. That means it's March. Everybody was bored. Oh, damn. <laughs> March, everybody was bored. It was too loud. It was too... <laughs> or it was raining. So, um, first birthday shout out goes to Ramona. Ramona um, Gonzalez? Why are you saying people's last names? I'm just asking. You can say G. You know I'm what? asking for a friend. Is that the girl that we went to school with? Yes. Shout out to Ramona G. Ew. Class of 2020, 2000. Ew. Um, her birthday was this Tuesday. They just passed. Um, happy birthday to my uncle, Raulin. Um, whose birthday also passed this Wednesday. Happy birthday! Um, happy birthday to Jennifer, um, whose birthday passed also this Wednesday because we're in Friday already. Man, we got a lot of Capricorns up in the house, yeah. man. Um, happy birthday to my uncle Heyman and his wife who are watching this show, of course. Can I get a Feliz Um, Feliz cumpleaños, tío. Um, Felicidades, tía. Son tía. Son tío. Tío. So, Theo, you said I'm giving a shout out to, to Theo. Oh, okay. I'm not saying we're I'm not saying happy birthday to Theo. I said, you know, I said giving a shout out. Um, happy birthday to. Someone, no, no, I haven't gotten to that yet. Okay. Happy birthday to Lovely. Um, uh, today is actually your birthday. And, oh, and my uncle's birthday is today too. Oh, also. my goodness. So, happy, happy birthday, birthday to Lovely. you. Um, you want to skip that one or you want to go? Yeah, we're going to skip right. that one. Ha happy birthday to Renee as well. Your birthday is. I love how he does that. You know, you guys, you, he has to remind you that it's your birthday. Today is his birthday. You want to remember it's your birthday. So then we got, Oh my God, your, your dad's on. Oh my God. So we got my cousin or my uncle, Kenneth, whose birthday is actually today, by the Happy way. Happy birthday, Kenneth. Happy birthday to Kenneth. Shout out to the uh, December 25th babies because when you guys were younger, you guys had the best life ever. But when you got older, you got chipped because oh that means God. you got one gift. For both the birthday and Christmas. Sounds familiar to somebody else. That's yes, that's what we're last. You're doing a kiss too. Yep, there you go. 
So you have our friend Sabrina. So, happy birthday, Sabrina. Um, I was going to say today's birthday, but it's not. No, tomorrow's, tomorrow's your birthday. Tomorrow's so birthday. happy birthday to so you. So Sabrina, if you guys don't know, is a long, long, long time friend that I've known for well over 18 years. She's part of the art and design crew. Um, I call her my sister. She's just such an amazing person, such a giving heart. And by the way, if you guys are looking for Bonquito, you need to look up Sabrina, by the way. Where are you going? Just saying. Okay. <laughs> and finally, finally. Last, last but not least, special birthday shout out. <laughs> it was on what? that day, oh. on that day, 16 years ago. Damn. I was in a hospital room. Yep. For 18 and a half hours. Damn. And after 18 and a half hours of working hard and tirelessly. 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 A nine pound bouncing baby girl was born. Hey, she was born. Yes, she was. Was it a nine something? Nope. Nine pounds and 21 inches long. Yes, she was. She was a big Damn. She was a big one. Let me tell you. No C-section. No C-section. Dude. Natural, baby. Shout out yeah. to my brother-in-law giving a shout out to me because it takes a strong woman to give birth to a nine pound baby. <laughs> shout out to our very, very, very special daughter, Tila, who will Happy be turning 16. The big one six. Tila. The big one six. Tila. She's probably in her room. No, so, no. so the big one six, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, the big one six. So unfortunately, we were not able to give her the big, big 16th birthday that we want to. However, here's the however. In one year, she will be literally graduating high school. So we're going to combine her 18th birthday and her graduation birthday all in one. We're going to have a big, there's my mom's dog, by the way, talking. But what an amazing thing. Like, I can't even sit here and imagine the fact that I'm saying I'm a parent of a 16-year-old. Like, that doesn't register in my head as of yet. I don't, and it has, still hasn't. Like, you know, people ask me all the time. You know, my brother wants to give it time. So it's funny, too, because when I'm at work. Oh, that's right. My brother-in-law, no, my, my brother-in-law said he has two 20-year-olds. Um, when I'm at work, it's funny because people will ask me, so how old is your daughter? Does they think they're going to say, oh, yeah, she's five or she's six? I'm like, no, she's 16. And they're like, wait a minute, how old are you? And I'm like, I don't even, like, I, they say I don't look my age at all. I don't, I, I don't know, but yes, I am going to be the parent of a 16-year-old in two days. And she is so excited because she thinks getting older is fun. It's not. <laughs> at all. At all. It's a, now, so, things start creaking and popping and locking, and I'm not even talking about that yet. Dancers <laughs> yet? <laughs> <laughs> Your dad just said I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm starving. Uh, we're gonna right. eat in a few minutes. So, so don't worry about it. Uh, with that, uh, we want to give out mad shoutouts to a whole bunch of heart warm. Wait, I can never say heartfelt. No, warm-hearted people. There, right? Oh, warm, so okay. Warm, warm-hearted people? Yeah. Whole, 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 wholehearted. Whole, yeah, whole, wholehearted and warm-hearted people. people. My dyslexia kicks in and I can't say words properly for my Ooh, mom. Can I say that first one? That one's so funny. I like it. You go ahead. So. So, big shout-out goes out to. Mr. Is it a Mr.? I just say okay. goes so, out shout to out the to username. Username. Tricky Mickey. I love that name. That's so funny. So you can find Tricky Mickey on twitch.tv forward slash Tricky Mickey 83, which is T-R-I-C-K-Y-M-I-K-E-Y 83. M-O-U-S-E. Mickey Mouse. Donald Duck. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. So next shout out goes out to Gate 3 Camper. Um, also a warm hearted individual. But twitch.tv forward slash G A T E, the number three camper, C A M P E R T T V. Um, go out there and show them some love and tell them, you know, Christian, I sent you. So, next one. This is, okay, is that a P or so an R? R. R R? Yeah. Okay, so shout out to the Twitch username Sorero, which is. I don't know who that is, but hopefully one day, <laughs> one day we will be able to meet each and every one of you on Twitch. So you can find that user on, uh, name is, user's name is Twitch, so it's, uh, oh, sorry, user's name is Sorero. <laughs> so you can find them on twitch.tv forward slash Sorero Wink. So it's S-A-R-E-R-O-W-I-N-C. No K. Like, okay. Like, as incorporated. Wink. Yeah. Like, W Inc. So, oh, Mikey you want? Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Um, also, big shout out provided to from Sinister, Mr. Game Wizard himself, 
at his twitch.tv forward slash game G A M E Wizard spelled W I Z E R D right. two three one, one four. four. So go show this individual some love and support, you know, because we all gotta grow this community together. Absolutely. As always. And big major shout out to the number one peoples in the world. Boo. So kind-hearted. I'm just like, don't say, don't say he's always that. saying the number one people, but guess what? Uh, I'm listen, the number one person. The people in the world are the individuals of wholeheartedness. Yes. To <laughs> and I said boo only because he didn't know, include a, me and in it. I know, she's saying it as a joke. I guess. Yes. Um, big shout out goes out to all oh, you 812. Um, Gaming Network, thank you guys for showing the love and the invite and everything. And of course, we're going to show some more love and support to you guys. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, we can only grow this whole family together. With the help of you guys. Definitely, definitely. So, um, major shout out to you guys. And I just noticed that one of the post-it notes fell. Oof. So, um, I want to take the moment to give a major shout out to this one individual. Uh, OGM, uh, shoot, I think it's Twang. Um, yes. For it is. Yes. OG, OG MR Twang. Ooh, got it. Um, major, major congrats to you, sir, for basically becoming Sergeant First, first class. class. Congratulations. Was to promoted you, man. to Sergeant First Class you know, after ten years of service in the military. Yes, That's sir, amazing. Give a big shout out to our military congrats. personnel. Yes, you know. Thank you so much for protecting this country, guys, because legitimately, because you are on the front lines every single day, besides myself being in the front lines in the hospital, you guys are literally defending our borders and our freedoms hey. that we take for granted so much every single day. Hey, Joanna, Merry Christmas to you Hey, Joanna, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, yes, major congrats to you, sir, man. Like, legit, we send out mad love to you um, for what you've done and, and everything that you continue to do. Yep. Um, and lastly... We want to give out a major anniversary wedding congratulations <laughs> shout out um, for our friend Joshua and, and his Rose. wife Rose who have been together for seven years and they're celebrating their anniversary today. Today's their wedding anniversary, so, which is weird now that I think about it. I, dude, I, listen, I remember they got married I, I on like Christmas. They, I felt like this was just yesterday. It does. Seven years. Seven damn. years. Holy crap, man. Congrats, man. Major congrats. My parents have Happy been together for as long as I've been alive. I'm 38. I'll be 39. And <laughs> 39 years exactly. Yeah, there, there you go. go. There you have it. You got confirmation from, from my, my dad. 39 years with the same person every day. <laughs> that's, that's, that's dedication. So, um, there's still about five more minutes left. For he said it's do it more. Um, and hopefully they come out good. If and then not, you always say, I kill you. <laughs> but you told me that every night. I do. You. It's only love, guys. Come on, like seriously. Oh, he said my hero. So, who are you talking about? Um, Sinister uh -huh. talking about Chris? Joanna said facts. Love you guys. Amazing. Congrats. Ah, uh, so Joanna, thank, say thank hi to you. your daughter, by the way. I I love watching Joanna's yeah, videos yeah. with her daughter. She's such a sweetheart. Oh, oh. Such a sweetheart. Now I'm gonna have to watch because now I'm curious. I believe that. Yeah. Is it Joanna? That I'm thinking about? I don't know. No, I'll, I'll, sorry. I apologize. It's Giovanna. Oh! My apologies. That's man, I said that Russia. to Lewis today. <laughs> What's that? <Really? laughs> what happened? What did he say? That she said that to, to Lewis today. Listen, I forgot to. I didn't know that his uh, last season was yesterday. Wow. If I would have known, I would have been watching yesterday. Yep. But my phone was charging last night, so I am definitely still going to watch the replay and I'm going to share it and show the love and support as always. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So definitely. So guys, really quick before we take No, I, I know who it is, Jen. She just got confused. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. She got too many people with the I do. I got too many people with the in my head. Aww. I see. Sinister said both of you too as well. Aww. You guys are absolutely amazing. Man, Thank you. Right no. So we want to take... amazing. You're amazing. We want to take this moment right now to give you guys a, just a perspective of what's going on. So 2020 has been... A crappy year to say the least. It's been a year of a lot of craziness going That's on. A nice way of saying There's it. some people out there right now who, um, you know, we've. Uh, yeah, there's some people. Right there, like, he's, in the, he's in the camera. There's some people out there that will have an empty seat at their table this year simply because they've lost someone to whatever's going on. There's some people who are abroad right now fighting for our freedoms that are literally keeping us being able to have this right now because in certain countries you wouldn't even be able to do this, let alone me be in the same room as this particular individual right here. You know, give oh, us what happened. <laughs> That's it. Don't forget the Spanish, please. <laughs> oh, the Spa to, to oh, Spanish. So, I, we I, are so to, sorry. So, we are so sorry. Oh, we are so sorry. Mientras que Melissa te hablan en inglés, yo voy a traducir lo que ella dice. There's the EAP going on. <laughs> es EAP. 
That's what it's called, EAP. No. Yeah. No. EAP. It's, it's SAP. EAP. What the hell are you talking about? EAP? I don't know. I'm just. It's SAP. I'm tired. I'm hungry. And then it's EAP. Uh, wait, really? It's I don't know. Eat a cookie. I don't know what you're talking about. Eat a cookie. Eat a I cookie. can't eat any more cookies. If I eat any more cookies, I'm going to end up getting sick. Oh. <laughs> hey, Tricky Mikey, what up? Let's see. There's Tricky Mikey. Look. Hi. Tricky, look. He, she's the one that gave your shout out today. Yes, I did. T R I C K M I K E Y. There you go. Why? Because I love you. Oh, see that. <laughs> Uh, for those who aren't here, we will show a taste. Yes, we will. We will definitely let <laughs> you know I how it tastes. We're gonna do a live. Hopefully, tasting. it comes out good. If not, you already know this is live. I don't. Who's edit. choking? And it's literally what we make is what we eat. Yep, Def so, definitely. I'm so, not substituting anything. take this moment, guys, to be appreciative of what you have. So, go ahead, momento ahora para dedicar. Este momento a la gente que están viendo. And take a moment to be acknowledgeable and grateful for what you don't have. Y reconocer eh, en este momento lo que tú tienes y lo que no tienes. Porque eh, siempre hay algo que uno va a perder y siempre hay algo que uno no va a tener. And always understand that no matter what the situation is, there's always a hidden blessing. And yeah. there's always a hidden lesson. So it may seem dark right now. And by the way, we have most of us... Well, you know, in a, in a nutshell, I'll tell you to tell them. Okay, so. Take, oh, nice. I'm glad I've got to see you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, you, definitely. You. So, you know, we want you guys to understand that, yes, this is a trying time right now. Yes, we have been in quarantine. Modified quarantine, by the way, guys, because there's other countries that have legitimately strict lockdowns. Mm -hmm. We have been distanced from our family members. We have been distanced from our friends. We have been distanced from the ones that we care for. And we have been distanced from the ones that we really don't care for. Which, by the way, that's why I said it is a blessing in disguise. <laughs> because it has kept individuals that you don't like away from you. <laughs> no, but it's the truth. Like, if you think about it, you think about the fact that, oh, I'm so far away from the ones that I love. How about you're far away from the ones that you don't like? Damn. Think about that. So there is a blessing in disguise with everything. So just that's know that take this moment to be around the ones that you care for and don't be afraid to remove the ones that don't matter out because 2021 <laughs> we're not bringing any luggage from 2020 okay we're not I doing it not. we're no we're not we're not let me get you a plate so guess what Yo, normally why, why, before you say something why is it i'm looking at this and they remind me and look like the richest potato chips or wontons <laughs> Like look, look, look at them. Look at the right? So let me look, bring you guys closer. So, I know you okay. guys are, uh, on Instagram. I'll put you guys down. But look at that. Look how crazy that looks. Did everybody go downstairs? Oh yeah, that's so. Oh, there we got text sisters. There you go. Hey, we got man text sisters. So let me tell you guys really quick. Oh, so for the fatal grips, it's OU812 as the discount code for anyone right. interested. So go get some. All right. Get so some. normally, you guys know. Oh. That I usually do the taste testing of the food, right? Similar to show now. Yeah, normally I do. But this time, we're going to have my dad and Tracy Ooh. do a taste Ooh. test. And the reason why is because I always do it on every show anyway, so we want to get a little bit of a different perspective. Yeah. Um, and it's a truthful perspective regardless. And it's a truthful regardless. perspective. You're not going to hold anything back because you have to be honest. So, oh, wow. Ooh, look at it. Yo, look at okay, that. Okay, so yep. I'm going to tell you guys really <laughs> quick, right? So if you use anything silicone, it wow. slips right out. Like, oh, and don't forget to say something for the presentation. Right? Okay, I'm going to. Okay, okay. Anything can happen. I mean, we got more, but. All right. So, all right. So there you go. There you guys have it. Those are the crab <laughs> cakes, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Tracy and my dad. Well, they're they're really hot, so be careful. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys really quick. Listen to this. You guys think I'm a beast with eating food that's hot? My dad can eat piping hot food without a problem. Yeah, I Legit. Guess. Like I think yeah, I that's bro. I think I I think that's where I got my eating habits from. Hold on one second, because I eat like a beast. Alright, so we got Tracy. And then we got my dad. Alright, we'll eat it right now. Alright, so guys taste it and tell me what you think. Careful, Damn. careful. <laughs> it's hot, see? Delicious. <laughs> oh no, it's really good. Right? So there you guys have it. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. So there you guys have it. 
And then you have Boop Boop over here. Wow. Boop Boop's like, yo, he's waiting. <laughs> boop Boop is... Let me bring you guys, hold on. <laughs> so Boop Boop is my mom's dog. <laughs> See, he wants, he wants to get in on it. Say That's hi, Boop Boop. That's Bandit. That's Bandit. <laughs> That's bandit. <laughs> so how is it? It's really, I mean, like, so, so he give like a real in depth, like not in depth, but like an honest critique. Like, do you taste all the stuff that we put in it? Is there anything that you would add to it? The texture's good. Okay. You taste everything that's in this. Okay. No, not the doughy, like doughy, doughy like taste. Like a doughy. Okay. You taste everything from the jump. There you go. So what would you pair this with though? Would you pair it with rice or would you pair it with pasta? Mm. Rice. Rice. Okay, see, I don't know, but see, rice. Okay. But see, crab cakes is more like a dipping thing. See, I would, oh, I would, look, 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 even Nana wants to taste us now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> eating in here, that's I would die. Oh, she's like, I'm hungry. Without a doubt, I'm not Oh, I like that emo. What I would do is, is this put the dog you can oh. make them so nice and small, mm -hmm. these would make a great, like appetizer. Okay, cool. That's why he was saying dinner. Like on New Year's. Okay. To throw them out at New Year's, you'd be a hit. So, so, ooh, that would be awesome. That would be great, actually. So, if you look at this, when I first put it into the mold, they were all like literally overpacked. But as they cooked, oh, yes, definitely. Yes, yes, So, and there's a reason why I asked if you would uh, pair it with either rice or pasta because most people when they think of fish or seafood they pair it with oh, pasta yeah. that's, what I, that's why the... I said like like when my dad my dad said white rice just plain oh, white rice you did that with the oh, crab yeah. Mozambique right so I would do it with like a nice white rice and that is it nothing else um, but what up bro Cass B how you doing right? oh, sure. we well, just made crab cakes new, by the way during New Year's like New Year's Excellent. Huh? Right. So that's what that's what Tracy was yeah. saying. The, the one with the, the oil, I can't. The creamy one, I, I. You gotta be careful because you have the texture. See, that's what I'm saying. The texture. See what I? You know what I like about the creamy one? It reminds me of a spinach dip. A matter of fact, I'm having that on Sunday. Spinach artichoke dip. I like. That's why. Oh, oh okay. I love spinach artichoke. Dip. There you go. This one's mine, so. Um, you can give these away. All right, give me a minute. Um, let me take this around. I want to go hand these out because you got a whole bunch of individuals that are like, I want more. I hungry. I hungry. So I'm gonna taste test my own product. Okay. Give this to Nana. Ooh. Careful, it's hot. Tracy. Oh, Sinister said, if you're allergic to nuts or anything like that. If Not I'm allergic thing. to nuts. She's no. highly allergic to mushrooms only. I'm allergic so to far mushrooms. I know. Um, my brother-in-law is allergic to sh fish in general, so we know not to have fish in his meals at all. Mm -hmm. um, we know to legitimately keep that away. What happened? Mm. Huh? What are you looking for? So, I'm going to put some cheddar dressing on this. What are you looking for? Come on, I want you to taste something. Mm, I'm, good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You don't want to taste this? Not right this minute, no. Okay. I will. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. This is legit. I'm getting it now. Legit, legit, extremely hot. She loves that. She loves that. Okay, so I'll leave this one. Oh. Oh. So that's crap. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, she likes it. She loves it. So there you guys have it. We present ah, to you. Okay. You want half? Give me the yellow dressing. Oh, that one. Yeah, we, we have the family over today, so this is how it is. What yellow dressing? The, the bacon ranch. Mm. Mm. Give me, I'll taste one. Huh? Oh, There's my mom. Look, here she is. Say hello. hello, hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> dad likes it. My dad's a picky person, by the way, so for my dad to say he likes it. Yes, that. Oh, but, my, but my dad to say he likes it. This okay. is. Oh, wait, babe, you gave me the book of orange one. No, 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 there's, there's this dressing no, that must be. No, there's probably some in the. You mean this? No, chicken in the pantry. I don't know what you're talking about. Your bacon one, remember? That's the only one that's there. No, there should be another one there. Um, Sinister said, what happened, Christian? Can't speak with your mouth full. I know, I can't. This, legit, that thing was so hot. 
I was burning my tongue just trying to eat at the same time. <laughs> what? No. No? No. Alright, so I'll do the buffalo one. That's right. Tracy likes them so much. No, we listen, look. We still have more in here. Yeah, we okay, have, we we'll still have more than I give away. Gonna let them so, alright, so this is what I'm gonna do for my presentation. Oh yeah! Well, this is gonna be more. Just give me a second. I gotta see some pictures and stuff. So, is that the the the, the show's gonna end in a second? That's nice. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Stay inside today. You might have to add, like you said, a little bit more breadcrumbs um, to get that next consistency. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, no, definitely. You just have to add a little bit more breadcrumb, and then you can put it in there, and it'll be like that. Yep. Um, I forgot what it's called. And this is how we do it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, no, she can't eat certain things with seasoning. That's okay. So, are you going to show it and then we're going to tell everybody to see Merry Christmas from our Yes. Hey, you have any nice seasons? So, here it is. For those people who are watching. There you go, that's the presentation. I'll bring you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see it. That's what we did here. So it has a little bit of the bacon ranch dressing and the parsley around it. And then that will be devoured in a few by other individuals right. <laughs> after I take pictures. Get everybody in here. But yeah, definitely. All right, everybody, everybody. So, get in here real quick. Real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, get in the front. Do the shortest. No. Wait, wait, wait. Nana's the shortest. Oh, yeah, no. Nana's got to go. Yeah. Wait, why are we all staying here? You'll see. Come on. Come on. Where's wait. Nana? Oh, Boop Boop. Boop Boop wants to get in there, too. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, no. Don't pick him up, Ben. It's okay. That's like. Andy, Tia. She's just a Come here, Papa. You stick around? Yep. Okay. There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let Nana get in the front. So, uh, where are you at? Come here. What? 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 Hey. Um, front. So, we right. want to wish everybody a very Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Woo! Yeah! Jesus. Baby, say hi. <laughs> so, thank you everybody for watching. Definitely go out there to <laughs> see our social media. Our social media. I can't even talk right now. What? Um, at our social media, bigtree.com, um, Christian Knight, apparently, of course. Um, visit our social media, visit her whole, all of our social media will be on the side. Um, and of course, big shout out once again to the OU812 um, Gaming Network as always. And as we say here on Lunch Break, don't settle for less. And make it your best. Oh I don't want to continue to say that loud on the set, But thank you, we everybody, love you for guys. watching. Merry definitely, Christmas. Definitely, Awesome, and thank you for watching. Have a great Here, day, guys.